this video, I'm going to discuss the best passports for crypto investors. A lot of people in the crypto world, right? Investors, active, passive, for obvious reasons, they're looking for a second alternate citizenship. It's a no brainer. And there's some typical top passports that people are getting. And I'm going to discuss those in this video. But before we discuss these options, if you're looking for a residency, right? Some people don't want to invest any money. They just want to get your their feet wet. And if you're looking for a residency that does not list your nationality, and there is one, and you could apply for this in 15 minutes and they send it to your home. If you're interested in understanding what this really is, you can take a look at this video. This covers the application procedure, the 15 minutes right process where you can get this shipped to home. Now, before we deep dive into the list of passports that crypto investors are savvy about they're getting, should you get one? If you haven't subscribed to this channel, make sure to turn on the bell notification and subscribe so you don't miss out on any new programs, cards, passports, whatnot. First one on the list, I'm going to discuss four uh, interesting options or important options, I would say, that are high in demand. And if you are a current crypto investor, or if you're planning to start investing in the crypto business, then this is something that you could look at. Again, this is not immigration or any kind of legal or tax advice. Always follow the rules of your home country, whatever is expected. The first one on this list is Vanuvaru citizenship. Yes, it might surprise a few, but a lot of crypto investors aren't really interested anymore in some of those Caribbean options. They have strings attached and someone is controlling those strings. It's not about getting a passport which has more mobility. It's about who controls these options, right? So if the godfather is still controlling you, then what's the point of wasting your money on some of those busted and tainted options that don't have any control over their own citizenship program? I'm not saying all are trash, but some of them are pure trash. And smart people watching this channel exactly know what I'm talking about. I have been covering this along the way. Now, we work with two of the best partners that work directly with the government. If you are interested in the Vanuvaru citizenship, you can always click the link, book a call. We can discuss if this is the best fit and get you started with our partner companies who can guide you end to end. But Vanuvaru does have some value, right? The biggest value proposition is that this is the fastest and the cheapest citizenship in the world and now after some of those caribbeans have doubled their prices based on whatever the western countries have told them here in vanuvaru's case they have stuck it out they've really stood by the meaning of citizenship they haven't really given in yes they lost all the visa free access which is fine for the kind of people who are looking for this kind of a passport this is absolutely okay because your eventual objective is to get a respectable under the radar quality citizenship anyways and not just one multiple quality passports eventually so what do you do for the multiple quality passports you look at natural options like mexico south africa and there are a bunch of other ones right i'm not going to discuss that here because then it goes it gets off topic so once you get this Vanuaru passport, the, as I said, the speed is miraculous. It's three months to four months. You can actually have the citizenship in hand. It's possible, right? So quick citizenship, cheapest citizenship, anywhere from 130K to 165K. Let's say you're adding four people, the prices will slightly go up. But in that low cost, then you have a quick citizenship. It's a tax-free country. You can play this smart, right? You can tag your residencies and you know, obviously set up your structure. Visa free is not what you're looking for. You're looking for quality residencies, right? Those residencies, those quality residencies don't give a shit about what passport you hold, right? Of course, if you're from a sanctioned country or let's say it's Iran or Iraq, you know, those kind of countries is out of the question. But let's say it's any other country, any other country, low key country like Vanuaru, they don't give a shit. So you can play this smart, set up your residencies, pick the right passport, get this done on the side. This is for speed. If you have the money, you don't have the time, pay this get this and you're all set and done the passport of the country is not where you're going to it's really the residencies that you're going to the passport is needed as a citizenship and you want a citizenship so you can get the residency so you want the right combination that is where this shines the next three options are going to be natural options right so people who don't want to outright purchase a passport then what is the next best one one of the hidden gems the 
beautiful option is, and I'm going to discuss three. Let me just name the three so you can skip through to whichever section you want. The first one I'm going to discuss is Paraguay, right? A lot of people are just getting this for the tax advantages, territorial tax, right? And plus it has the 9% tax. So it has multiple unique advantages. Can you get the citizenship? Of course, you can get the citizenship. It's a little tricky, but it's possible. I'm going to discuss Paraguay as number one. The other one is my personal favorite. It's a beautiful, beautiful option. Based on your age, you can literally get in for next to free. And it is Mauritius. Again, has very discreet advantages. It has the trust factor. You can open up a trust and this trust has some unique benefits. Again, this is complex and I'm going to deviate off topic. If you are interested, in, always click the link, book a call. We can discuss why you're looking for specific options. Is it the 9%? Is it the territorial? Is it the trust advantages? And then accordingly, we can get you started with one more or all of these options. The third one on the list is going to be the country I just returned from and it is Dominican Republic. Again, the reason why I'm mentioning Dominican Republic is not for the strength of the passport. It is a territorial country for three years. So you want to play this smart. You have, you know, three years is a long time, right? You're structuring your things. You want to make sure this fits right. It does have an option of direct permanent residency. If you've missed my very important video from my trip to Dominican Republic, you can catch that here. Again, cover a lot of details. You can directly jump onto the permanent residency. There are three key ways of doing this, right? So once you strike this, and I'm gonna discuss this in a lot more detail in this video, but once you strike this, then you can get yourself a citizenship in anywhere from six to two years, six months to two years. Again, this depends upon uh, the route or the category you're fitting in. Certain categories, six months, certain categories, two years. So this is again, a very useful option in my opinion. Now let's first start off with Paraguay and all three. The most important thing is all three, you can directly start off with permanent residency. I'm gonna discuss how you can qualify for permanent residency in each of these cases in this video. Let's talk about Paraguay. You can directly, yes, you can directly skip the temporary and you can directly get the permanent residency. It's a two day process with us. We just need two days of your time inside of Paraguay. And yes, this, the residency card will take its 45 days, usual 45 days, and that card can be mailed to your home country. So you're covered with that. We just need two days of your time. So let's say you're doing a Mexico, one day, Paraguay, two days, and you're off to your other destination doing other stuff. Again, you can always have that discussion. We can discuss and schedule you for all these options the way you want. So once, let's skip the temporary, let's talk about permanent. It's a declaration that you give to the government that you would in future move your funds into Paraguay and that's it, we pre prepare the declaration. Of course, you sign the declaration, you skip the temporary, you directly jump onto the permanent. And then you're looking at that valuable Paraguayan citizenship if you are interested in that passport long-term. If not, you keep the permanent for life. It's indefinitely renewable till you want to keep this. That's Paraguay. The second option, as I said, is precious, beautiful option. It's a direct 10 year permanent residency, indefinitely renewable. Based on your age, you can either go for that or you can also go for the three year Mauritian residency where you open up a business bank account, diversify some of your cash. Let's say you put in $50,000. You don't donate this to anyone. This is your money in your own bank account. You can diversify, you can do financial investments. It's your own business. If nothing else, you can do a fixed deposit, whatever you want, right? So with this amount, you can directly strike the residency. And then this is, as I said, indefinitely renewable. You can apply for your citizenship at the time, right time comes. And Mauritian passport is quite exotic. It's neat, it's unique, and it's crypto. It's crypto investors, top choice. It's beautiful. That's a beautiful passport in Africa. The final option on this list is Dominican Republic. This is on the budget, cheap, straightforward, fast option, right? So let's say here again, you have three ways of qualifying for the Dominican Republic direct permanent residency. Either you purchase a condo, it's a sea facing villa. You can enjoy a beautiful time or rent it. Other times you have tourism from all over the world that comes to Dominican Republic. So you can easily earn rental returns if that's your choice. If not, just have a personal property. First way, second way is that you have any kind of passive income for $2,000. And if you don't have passive, here's the magic. You can convert your active income 
let's say it's from a salary or let's say it's a bank balance, you can convert this into a passive format for this residency because the passive only needs to be shown for a future projection of five years. So it's gonna be easy, right? It's not a lifetime annuity that you're setting up. So this becomes a lot more straightforward for a lot of investors. You show that, you get the permanent, right? You spend the right amount of time. This has the, one of the lowest residency requirements to citizenship, you strike that you apply for your citizenship and then you have this as a unique option. You get three years once you strike the citizenship or the residency, let's say, and you're trying to use this, you have three years to play this smart to get the territorial tax advantages. And these are just, just a few scratching the surface. There are a lot many options that crypto investors are looking for. If you are interested, click the link, book a call, we can get you started. And if there's a particular option that you like, it's your favorite option, specifically with crypto in mind, let us know in the comments down below. I'd like to hear about it. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe and catch you in the next one.